Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we have some more new product. First up from Sig Sauer we have a new magazine for the P365. This is a 15 round magazine. The standard P365 comes with a 12 round which fits flush. You can see here this one would extend past that a little bit. There's the overall length of the magazine tube and it has this wrap around base plate which has this really nice texture on it. Uh, it's nice and grippy on the sides and then on the front. So if you have large hands, this would be a great option. Uh, you can also swap it with this uh, separate base plate which leaves a little bit more magazine body exposed. Uh, maybe Sig Sauer has a new pistol coming that has a little bit longer grip in the P365 platform, I don't know. Uh, but that's a new 15 round magazine from Sig. New from Brownells, we have an addition to our barrel lineup. Uh, we get a lot of requests for one in seven twist barrels in that lighter profile, and here we have it. Uh, this one is more for a CAR 15 or that uh, short M4 type setup. So it's got an A1 profile under the hand guards. Uh, you got a standard front sight base. This one is F mark, so we went with more of a uh, modernized style setup on this one. Guys that might actually use these with a flat top upper receiver. Uh, this has a nitride finish, has the standard or the uh, A2 or M4 style slip ring, so the tapered slip ring on it. Round hand guard cap, you do get your sling swivel, half 28 threads, the barrel's nitride, uh, and then you get a square A2 post on this. And then at the rear, you've got uh, your M4 feed ramps. I should say these are made by Ballistic Advantage, so fantastic barrel quality, uh, nicely uh, done on the rifling. It is one and seven twist, uh, and then it's chambered in 5.56, I should say that. Uh, so that's new from Brownells, our 10.3 inch barrel assembly. And new from Creative Arms, we have their lower receiver vice block. Uh, this is made out of an extremely hard uh, polymer that is beautifully machined. Uh, a lot of these blocks you'll get, and as well as your lowers, they get inconsistent dimensions or the magwells are cut to different dimensions or this is done to a certain spec and your lowers are different. These fit beautifully in pretty much any lower we've tried. They're nice and smooth, so you're not gonna have to fight getting the, the uh, low receiver block off your low receiver and they're consistently machined. Uh, so very smooth, uh, nice, consistent dimensions on them. Of course, you can reverse it either side, uh, however you choose and then cut out right there so you're not gonna interfere with any bolt catches or anything like that. So that's new from Creative Arms, lower receiver, vice block. And new from Brownells, people have been asking about these for a long time, especially those that bought the kits. We have a 417 bolt. These are machined by PWS, Primary Weapon Systems, uh, and they got a nickel Teflon finish. They fit your standard HK417 or MR762, uh, and is a great replacement part, or if you wanna build up your 417 from scratch, uh, using one of those parts kits, it's a great option. Pretty much the only, it is the only thing out there on the market if you're doing that. Uh, includes everything you see right here, extractor, uh, ejectors, uh, everything is included. Just drop it into your carrier and go. That's new from Brownells. Also a quick one from Brownells, we have the proper retro lock washers. Uh, some we've had in the past, a little bit different thickness. These are proper for you retro guys out there. They're not gonna be uh, different dimensions and they're gonna fit properly on your A1, your, uh, your three-prong flash hiders. These are the proper lock washers to use on your retro build. New from Brownells. And new from Fusion Firearms, we've got a few of their handguns on the side as well as their parts. Uh, this is from Fusion, this is their Riptide. This one happens to be in nine millimeter. Of course, it's a 1911 pistol, that's what they're known for. Uh, and they come in at a pretty uh, sharp price point. And on the Riptide, you get a few nice features you typically see on custom guns. Uh, you got your rear and front serrations nicely done. They've got a little bit of a different uh, cut on the nose. They, they chopped away there at the uh, bottom of the dust cover. Um, so otherwise, the features you'd expect, you've got uh, the enlarged uh, slide release, safety selector, um, and then you got a Novak style sights, uh, and they've got a white insert on the front. And they've got these nice cherry uh, wood grips as well. I would say too, the checkering on this uh, is very nice and crisp, uh, not what you, you might expect, especially on a lot of factory guns. Uh, and then they have the uh, beveled mainspring housing, so this would make a nice little carry piece too if you choose to carry a 1911. Uh, also on the top, they've got serrations there to reduce glare. Uh, overall, a nice little compact 1911 package. I did say this one's a 9mm, so it comes with the 9mm magazine. 
This exact same gun is available at 45 ACP. There are a few other models as well on the website. Uh, this 9mm model does come with a 12 pound mainspring uh, or a recoil spring as well. Oh, and I should say, it also comes with this nice carrying case. So a lot of handguns, you get a box, cardboard box, and then you gotta go find a case. Comes with this nice uh, nylon case with plenty of mag pouches. You can actually use this and take it to the range. So nice move uh, by Fusion on that one. So that's the Fusion Riptide in nine millimeter. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.